In Jesus' name, listen to me. A sister just told me this afternoon that all the prayers she has been praying in the family, why are things still happening wrong? I told her, with all due respect, you are proud. You overestimate your prayer. Some of the things that has lasted for 200 years, with your inconsistent prayer life for the last three years, you are saying, why has things not changed? Are you not proud? The prayer you are praying, you are not even consistent in it. Show me Mark chapter 6, verse 7. I just want to pick something there. And I want a few people that want to pray with me. We, we can't be many. We can't be more than 10. I want to pray. What do you think? Hmm? Once I notice you are not, you don't want to pray, I will just send you to the back. You notice the people, some of the people at the back, they are just walking like this. And I, the reason why I didn't say anything is that there are new faces. If, you, if I find an old face here and you are not praying, I will send you out. I will give you transport money. I'm not sent to everybody. You have your church where people are lazy. And they are the same year after year. Since you are here, you need to abide. You need to crack the code of prayerlessness. There is a code that needs to crack. Mm, your soul needs to obey to the powers of immortality. When the spirit helps a man, you will know. That day you don't feel like. That's the day you... Let me test how spirit helps a man. Look at this scripture. And the Bible says, and he called them. We are just, we'll just pray for two minutes. Look at our rabbi. His clothes that he stashed. Look at Adura now. His stashed clothes, nothing has happened to it. In my prayer room. I'm going to send you away. And he called them. And he called unto him the twelve. And he began to send them forth. What? I didn't hear you. How many? Look around for somebody that has been praying. For example, don't hold Rabbi. Don't hold him. He has not been praying. Except you can't help yourself. No? <laughs> face to face, find, find somebody that will ascend with you. Two by two. Face to face. Two by two. Face to face. Two by two. Face to face. Listen to me. One last instruction before you continue. Listen. Listen. There is a compound reaction. That's what we want to bring. So as you are praying, you hold the person. You vow. That's the way I pray in my heart. I vow, I'm not going to leave this my prayer partner. Huh? Until we bang open the gate of heaven. See, the reason why I'm here is because I don't hear, I don't like hearing he can't do it, it can't happen, can it happen? That it can't is the reason why I'm here. Everything in that is stopping you from pressing into the new realm. Hold that to your neighbor. Don't leave the person. I don't know how long your own will take. <laughs> Fire scar. The day, the Say, 
Somebody pray if you are following me online. Find a nepo, find a nepo. It's time to pray. Kai, a pamba, bye. Oh, spirit. A hungry generation has appeared and they need to pray. They need to press. They need to touch something. They need to crack open the gate of ordination. The gate of destiny.
become strong. Women, women, they walk beyond their weakness. They become strong giants. Women, women, we are there. Are they here? I rise up like Deborah. I am strong in the spirit. Something is on me. Something is on you, oh sister. on this earth my greatest privilege will be that prayer will be on my lips and I will sleep I will be offered through prayer <laughs> grant me oh God My generation must pray. me listen so many of you have been functioning at the same prayer realm prayer level for too long you need to shift realm there is no pecking you have to put your head there. Let me tell you, when you shift realm in prayer, what you will affect, you can affect more. Ayona! Aha! Uh -huh. Prayer merchants! Do you some prayer? They are enough structures. I'm ordered with prayer. Be prayed on their nostrils. Send incense to the throne of God. Ayona! It's time. It's time to pray. 
Listen to me. My feet is no more touching the ground. You cannot be normal. The advantage you have is in the spirit. In Jesus' name, listen. Let's read this with all of our hearts. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters. I found out that many things people call answer to prayer is actually realities of some realms. When you enter there, you stop praying it. You will find out, as you would have noticed in a small measure, that there were things that were your prayer points when you entered a realm. Those things began to happen. You have forgotten that you even prayed. You have stopped praying about it as prayer points. Yet they were answered. You enter the place. I will pray. Aha! Let's read this scripture together. One, two, ready, go. they put them and put your name there so put your name there let's read it one more time one two ready go now listen where they added them and men put your name call your name there are you hearing what i'm saying now leave your neighbor leave your neighbor you have tried Peter also near this young way. That she is your sister is over now. So one way, so one way. Aha! Listen to me. I feel as if. I feel as if. I feel as if. We are thousands. We are not alone. Oh. Nobody can do this thing normal. You can't do it normal.
Ese. Let's read this one more time. Put your name where they put them. Amen. Are you ready? Be serious. This is prophetic action. Are you ready now? One, two, ready, go. Some people still said them. They did not put their name. Let's go one more time. Why am I fainting? Why? 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 Oh God! Crack the code of prayerlessness. Every woman we child. Listen, your prayer will be simple in the next one minute. Listen to me. According to Elijah and many of the patriarchs, anytime God wants to recover his inheritance, recover his people, recover anything that Satan has stolen, the first thing God must recover is your altar. You must agree that the first place you were weak was in the place of prayer. problems we can find in Christendom can be traced to the prayer altar. Either the people are praying selfish prayers and heaven decided to ignore them or they are not willing to go far enough. Where did David enter? He said, let the lifting of my hands be like incense. Lift. And then my, my, give me this, my prayer come as incense and the lifting up of my hands. Evening sacrifice. Now let me explain to you what the man is saying. He's saying, he's saying, come here Joshua, come here. He's saying, if I adjust my tie, let it mean something on, on the heavenly altar. If I do my eye like this, let it mean something. You don't know. If I do, mm, let it mean something. If I do, ah, let it mean something. If I do like this, let it mean something. He's trying to ask God, is there a way you can galvanize and monopolize everything about me and make it an, an a material of prayer, equipment of prayer? Huh? Parafelenias. Listen, we are going to beg God for that. Oh. Help the sister. Let it be that when I wave my hand like this, let it mean something. Let it not just be I wave my hand and my hand is paining me. No. We ask you, oh God. When we wave our hand, let, let nations fall with it. Listen. 
you are going to pray now. I heard a sound in the spirit. You are going to pray. You will drive yourself here. And God said there are 14 people he wants to lift up. There will be sudden lifting. Your prayer is simple. Carry me, Holy Ghost. Carry me to that realm. You have one minute. 